Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe before you leave, that way you'll never miss out on another video. I do a free pick a card reading on my channel every single Friday, so make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a video. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a pick a card reading for a message that you need to hear right now. This could be a message from your higher self, from the divine, from universe, um, but it's definitely something you need to hear right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna need you guys to do is pick a card group number or a crystal that you're very, very drawn to. So go ahead and pick card group number one or the pyrite crystal card group number two or the peacock or card group number three or the rose quartz crystal card group number four or the angel or a quartz crystal so go ahead and pick which one calls out to you and while you guys make your choices i want to say that i do have a new product up in my shop this is my bay leaf and oud room spray i have only a few i made only I think I made only 30, so they go pretty quick and they get sold out pretty quick, so I just wanted to announce that I do have something new up in my store. I know a lot of you guys always wanna know what is new and when it is it coming out, so I decided to make my own Instagram page for the shop alone, um, and a lot of just tips and tricks and hacks using crystals and herbs and oils, so follow me. I'm going to leave the link to that down below. Um, it's a underscore mystic underscore life that is my instagram page for my shop card group number one or for everybody that picked the pyrite crystal let's go ahead and start your reading now what is something that you need to hear right now the first card that comes up is to hydrate so something you need to hear is either you need to hydrate your body with more water you need to be drinking more water use water to your advantage program your water you know you could write affirmations on your water bottle you can program your water um, with crystals there's so many ways you can program your water and you're being called to work with water and hydrate your body you may even notice you may be wanting to go near bodies of water like the ocean the beach creeks waterfalls um, you're probably going to be drawn to go near there you know just sit there and relax and um, get messages and it, it, it's really going to benefit your energy. So that's definitely something that you need to be hearing right now is drink water, program the water that you're drinking um, and, you know, allow yourself to relax in nature when it comes to water. The next card that comes up is dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So water is something we use to cleanse ourselves, to clean ourselves. So something that is coming up in your reading right now is for you to um, flow, you know, dance with life. When you dance, you allow your body to just flow with the music. You're not thinking about it. You're just flowing. You're just moving. It's natural movement, you know, movement that aligns. Um, so you're being asked to do that with life. Just flow with life. Just allow yourself to be aligned. And the best way you could do that is by tapping into the energy of water because water is very flowing. Um, do something to change your energy. Cleanse yourself. Movement. Do something different. Um, let's see what else comes. Oh, okay. So this makes a lot of sense. Play. Have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. So a huge message for you right now is to allow yourself to have fun. Allow yourself to play. Allow yourself to just lose track of time for a little bit. Allow yourself to give that to you. Let your inner child come out and play because I feel like you really deserve it. You've earned it. You've worked really hard. And it's time for you to let your inner child come out and enjoy itself and you enjoy yourself. The next card that comes up for you is Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. So I think this is why you were so drawn to picking the pyrite crystal because this is the crystal of like, excuse me, of like the angelic realm, of like the ethereal spirits. Um, it's very majestic and it's very connected to your ancestors, your spirit guides, your, you know, your spiritual team. Um, so connect with them and not only you're being called to connect with them but also know i feel like they want you to know that they are behind the scenes helping you out and supporting you and backing you up and giving you guidance and and 
um, messages. It's just very important for you to tap into the energy of just flowing because when you're in that energy of flow, that's when you can receive these messages from your ancestors and um, your spirit guides. The next card that came up in your reading is priestess how are you being called to step up and lead so there's something in your life that you need to take responsibility for there's something you need to just kind of just get up and take control of this situation um i feel like you've kind of let it go on for way too long and now it's time for you to just get up and grab it and take control of it and um how are you being called to handle it? How are you being called to get it resolved or get it taken care of? You know, follow your intuition, follow your gut, because it is messages that you're uh, channeling from your spiritual team um, that is allowing you to take control of this situation. Let me lower the exposure. Okay, there you go. The next card that comes up in your reading is surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So here you're being really called to not look at yourself in such a harsh way. Um, don't, don't, how do I say it? You, I feel like you're blocking yourself from feeling happiness. Either you're very afraid of it, you think you don't deserve it, or I don't know what the reason is, but you are seriously blocking yourself from being happy. Um, almost like self-sabotage because you're afraid of letting it in. You're afraid of letting this happiness in because you feel like either it's not going to last or you like you don't deserve it, something. Um, and, and you're being called to surrender that aspect of yourself. Um, allow that aspect of yourself to heal because you're being called to something higher, something bigger. Um, and these like remnants of low self-esteem, they're not vibrationally matched with you anymore. So it's time to let these go. It's time to be nicer to yourself. You know, that inner voice that's always in your head. It's time for you and that inner voice to become friends and be nice and sweet to each other instead of always bickering and yelling at each other. Um, the next card that comes up is surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So here you're being called to um, not let your fear overpower you. Like if there's something you've been wanting to do, if there's something you know will make you happy, but you are afraid to do it, you are afraid to take that step, um, that's your ego coming in and trying to protect you. And you are giving your power to your ego, to your fears. The ego throws all the fears it can in your face so that you stay in your comfort zone where the ego is safe and just, you know, looks real good. So, um... Yeah, that's something that definitely uh, next time that you feel a thought coming up where it tells you not to do something or it tells you to stop or it tells you to like, this is not a good idea. Whatever thought comes up, notice where it's coming from. Is that your ego trying to protect you and saying like, oh no, you can't trust that person just because remember what happened last time you trusted someone. Like you can't base one person's trust on another person's trust. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's something that you need to take a look at and then surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Again, like let go of doubts that miracles can happen in your life. I feel like you let that belief go. I mean, when you were a kid, you probably believe like in so much magic and that you could magically get this and magically get that. And it's just everything's so majestic, you know? Um, and things are easy to obtain when you're a kid, you know, like, um, your parents come give it to you. Um, but there's also like a reasoning behind it where you're so innocent and your, um, vibration is so pure that anything that you actually want, you do manifest it. Most of the time it is through your parents, but you manifest more when you're a kid for a lot of people. And so I feel like you're going to tap into that energy again of where you just believe. You just have this confidence in the universe or the divine or God, whatever it is you believe in. You just have this confidence and knowing in it because you believe again. You believe in the magic of it again. Um, and then last card that comes up in your reading is look at the star or look to the stars. 
So this confirms what we were just talking about. You're being called to believe again, but not just being called to believe again, but you're on this journey where your belief in magic is reawakening. So trust it, go with it, flow with it, tap into water energy. Um, and I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to book a reading with me, go ahead and do so on my Etsy shop. I'll leave it linked down below. Bye. For everybody that picked card group number two or the peacock or crystal, let's go ahead and see what messages you need to hear right now. So the first card that you got is the Min Taken card, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Okay, so a lot of you guys are going through something where you don't feel like you belong. Um, you feel like... The where you are right now in your life is not where you belong. Emotionally, physically, mentally, um, you just feel a longing for something more. You don't quite know what it is, but you know it's something more. It's something more divine. And you're coming into this awakening that you are not really your human body. I feel like a lot of you guys are awakening to that idea and you feel it more that you are something so much more than just your flesh. That's really interesting. The next card that comes up is Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing and Rewriting the Future. So here, you're. this is really interesting. The One of the biggest reasons that you feel like you don't belong is because you're breaking this ancestral chain of negativity. You know, a lot of our family lines have traditions and stuff that we probably don't agree with anymore, that probably don't serve us anymore um, in these times. And so you are probably the first one in your whole generation, in your whole whole ancestral pattern that is going to break that pattern, that has the courage to break that pattern, that not even just courage, but you have no choice but to break that pattern if you're going to live your life authentic to yourself. You know, that it's a, it's a given. It has to happen. And I feel like that's what a lot of you guys are going through right now is leaving behind thought patterns, belief systems, you know, things you were taught when you were little that you don't agree with anymore. A lot of you guys are shedding that and letting it go. Um, and because of that, you it's like you... It was, it's something that you carried for so long within you since you were a child and now you're shedding it and letting it go. So of course there's going to be sometimes that feeling of feeling lost and emptiness because you just let something go that was a part of you for so long. So it's okay if you feel like you're longing for a home or longing to belong or um, you just don't belong. It's okay to feel like that. And one of the biggest reasons why is because you're breaking the chains of your past, of your ancestors. The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. So in this card, you are really attracting into your life a group of people that are going to bring you situations, circumstances, opportunities, offers that are going to align with who you are, that are going to align with the career that you want to have. Um, and there's just going to be a lot of like, even if you go to the grocery store, you're going to probably bump into somebody that um, is really going to provide an opportunity to opportunity to you that you have been looking for. Um, so pay attention to the people that you bump into. Pay attention to the people that kind of want to start conversations with you. Um, and you just never know what the universe is trying to bring you. You know, the universe is trying to really bring people in your life that are going to help you um, succeed and help you grow and help you get further ahead. They have the opportunities and the connections you need. The next card that comes up in your reading is surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So stop procrastinating. Stop letting your fears hold you down. It's time for you to take action. You know, um, even though all of the spiritual work is going on within you, maybe you have this idea to do something, to start something, to create something, or to even just journal or create your wishing or wishing board. Yeah, a vision board. Um, or to do something for yourself. And the universe kind of wants you to know that it's okay for you to do something for yourself. Um, surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So this is what you're kind of letting go of when it comes to ancestral patterns. Like there was a lot of um, belief in lack or belief that you can only succeed in your life to a certain ex extent. 
Um, there was limits placed on how much you could succeed in your life. So I feel like that's a lot of patterns and beliefs that is also being shed within you right now. Um, and you're kind of, you letting go of all of that is surrendering you to the energy of success. You're going to be able to tap into the energy more because there's nothing going to be blocking you. Um, surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. I feel like there's a lot of pressure been put on you too to become something or to be a certain way or to live a certain way, but you you're learning how to let go of all of this pressure and live your life in a way where you listen to yourself and you're not highly influenced by your past, your ancestors, your past, your parents' past. You're going to live your life authentic to yourself. The next card that comes up is surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. You need to slow down, pause, rest, rejuvenate, reflect. You have to take those breaks for yourself once or twice a day at least. This is something that I feel like a lot of you guys don't give yourself, but you're being called to give this to yourself. It's very, very important. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So accept the situations as they are. Don't try to change it right now. Don't try to force it. Don't try to resist it. Just flow with it because know that there is healing occurring, that all of this is happening. For It's leading you to something that is aligned with your higher self. It's leading you to a higher vibration. So all this release and purging and everything, allow it to happen. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. This is actually very interesting that you got these two cards together. Surrender to rest and sleep and then to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, then move forward. So listen to your body about situations. When you have to make a decision, when you have to make a choice, listen to your body. Does this make you feel good? Does it make you feel nervous? Does it make you feel like... um like a sacrifice you don't want to be making you know pay attention to your emotions and pay attention to your feelings because it provides a lot of answers then we have surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river so you've been very accustomed to trying to um Take care of everything. Make sure that this is done this way. This is done that way. Very like control. You have to have control and you're being asked to release control. And I feel like you're also on this journey that you are releasing control. And that's why a lot of you guys were drawn to the peacock or crystal because this is this crystal of happiness. So I feel like you're on this journey of breaking away the blocks that were between you and your happiness. You're also being called for doing some abundance planning and listen to your intuition when you do this. So sit down, write in your journal, in a on a piece of paper, um, what you want to manifest, everything that you want to be manifesting, guilt-free. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel like you're obligated to manifest something for someone else. This is for you. This is where you get to be selfish. You know, don't listen to your past. Don't listen to the influences around you. This is for you to go inside your own head into your own intuition and see what you want. Because I feel like if you do that right now, you're going to be attracting very, very fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to book a reading with me, you can do so on my Etsy shop. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. For everybody, the pick card group number three or the rose quartz crystal, let's go ahead and see what messages you need to hear right now. Okay, the first card that comes up is warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Okay, so this card talks all about that warrior within yourself. Sometimes this warrior is too strong and too aggressive and just comes out as soon as it feels threatened. Sometimes this warrior woman is a, a balanced, stable energy within yourself. So I feel like you're being called to look at the warrior woman within yourself, that aspect of yourself that is very, very strong. Where does that strength come from? Does it come from a negative place or does it come from a positive place? Does that strength in your warrior woman come from anger or does it come from a place of you valuing who you are and valuing your thoughts and opinions. Um, 
Another thing that comes up with this card is have you answered your deepest calling? When you live from your authentic self, where you don't have to prove yourself to anyone else, or you're not influenced by other people or society, social media or anything, um, that's when you can answer your deepest calling. Um, because you're clearing the way of all the like BS and you're able to see what you value, what you love, what is important to you and what you want to be doing, basically your purpose. And so when you can see that purpose clearly, that's when you can answer your deepest calling. That's when you can find out what it is. That's when you know what it is. You have to clear the way, clear your path, clear your mind in order to know what is your deepest calling. So right now, I feel like a lot of us, we are in defense mode, like, you know, easily triggered, easily um, irritated. Um, you know, the full moon is coming too. So <laughs> that's a huge reason. And it's a full super moon. So, you know, just... Pay attention to that warrior within yourself. It doesn't really have to be warrior woman. Um, just pay attention to the warrior within yourself. And is that warrior blocking your pathway to your deepest calling? Like, is it super angry? Or is it there um, guiding you and supporting you and holding your hand the whole way through? So I feel like a lot of us are being asked to take a look at that warrior within us. The next card that I see here is the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So there's something from your past that you guys are clinging on to um, that is actually has to do with love. So that's why you guys were drawn to the Rose Quartz Crystal. So a message that you really, really need to hear is that some things fall apart so that other things can fall into place. You know, sometimes things have to close and end for something new and beautiful and more vibrationally aligned with you to fall into place. So there's something that has ended and it may be in the past, it may be in the near past, like recently, something that ended that was all of a sudden that, you know, was not expected, whatever it was that ended. It could have been a relationship, could have been a job, it could have been you moving from your home, it could be anything, something ended that you still are clinging on to and sometimes Sometimes things end where we look back and we look back at the happy moments and we dwell on, you know, I kind of want to put it like this, like those five minutes of happiness that we had in the past, we want to stay caged up in that five minutes of happiness forever. We often be, we often be, we often are let ourselves think like, oh my God, I was so happy back then. I'm never going to be that happy again. I wish I could be that happy again. Why don't I feel that happiness now? It's like you carry that five minutes of happiness forever and you compare it to everything. Um, you dwell on it. You wish for it. You long for it. Not realizing that um, that ha that's a different kind of happiness. It's a different time of happiness. Times are changing, evolving. You're changing and evolving. Let yourself feel the happiness of every time you evolve, every time you change. Like Allow yourself to feel the happiness in each moment, in each experience. You know, Don't dwell on the five minutes of happiness that you had in the past. The next card that you have is you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So there, yeah, like... I feel like you feel like you're not going to be that happy again the way you were in the past, but you're already taking the steps towards that happiness. Sometimes you do like take a step back, you know, you'll take two steps forward and you'll take three steps back, but it's okay because you keep pushing forward and keep going, keep facing your true north. You know what it is that makes you happy. You know what it is that you want. But I feel like you're very stuck in that five minutes of happiness you had before. And it's important for you to know right now, something you really need to hear is that it's just let yourself feel the emotions, let yourself be, let yourself flow. It's okay, you're already going towards where you need to be going. Surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. So stop holding on to grudges and resentments and hurts and betrayals that happened in the past you know it's time to let those go they're clogging up your energy field they're creating emotional blocks and they're preventing your manifestations from happening faster um so surrender these resentments find a way to forgive and let go find a way to move on and move forward surrender to divine timing so here it says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. 
So exactly, just flow with the universe. Right now, you're not going to be listening to your ego telling you to do this right now, to make sure this is taken care of right now, you know. Don't trust this person, don't take that business step or whatever it is that your ego is trying to prevent you from doing. Just kind of um, acknowledge it and then try to see things from a different perspective too. Your ego often tries to dissuade you from your true calling because the ego wants to protect you and keep you in a bubble where you're always safe and the ego always looks right. So, you know, surrender to divine timing. Um, just because the ego says something doesn't mean that, you know, the divine energy is not working on it. Um, the next two cards that you got are aromatherapy and chanting so you're also being called to pay attention to the smell and scent of your environment so what is going on when you walk into your house what do you smell is it inviting is it warm is it uplifting or is it repelling is it stinky like how what is the smell when you walk into your house what smells remind you of your childhood it's like play-doh that's the first thing that came into my mind is it like oranges or what is it that reminds you of your childhood? What is a scent that really makes you feel good? You know, for like roses make you feel good. You smell it, you get a whiff of it. It's, it's a uplifting vibration. So it's oranges. Um, so pay attention to the scents around you. Work with the scents around you to manipulate energy and manipulate the way you feel, to manipulate the energy in your house, in your room, in your office. Um, look up, you know, scents that have to do with happiness. It's roses, oranges, um, patchouli. Oud. Oud is a very, very high vibrational oil. And I have a bunch of products right now on my store um, that I made with oud. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. But uh, you could also use uh, essential oils, candles, incense. So use scents and aromatherapy to really manipulate and conjure up energy. The next card is chanting. So what you speak out loud. Right now, what you need to hear is that you need to watch what you say out loud. Watch your mouth because you are creating with vibrations of your mouth. You are chanting affirmations, spells, out into the air so be careful what you say out loud because you will attract it okay so that was your reading if you guys want to go further in detail you can book a reading with me on my etsy shop and thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys later bye for everybody that picked card group number four or the angel aura quartz crystal let's go ahead and see what messages you need to hear right now the first card that comes up is don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay, so how are you doing this? How are you dulling yourself or like lowering yourself, belittling yourself in order to fit in or in order to make someone else feel less intimidated? Because I know a lot of us do that when somebody feels uncomfortable around us, we dim our own light so that they can feel more comfortable. So you're kind of being called to stop doing that because sometimes uh, we do it so much that it becomes a dominant vibration within us to lower ourselves in front of someone else. You know, it, it starts to show in your posture. It'll start to show in how you speak and then eventually start to uh, show in your mentality and all of that stuff. So don't dim yourself. Don't small yourself to make someone else feel bigger. I feel like that's something that a lot of you guys need to hear right now. The next card that comes up is align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So right now you're also being asked to let go and release things that don't align with your life anymore. What are the things that you need to get rid of physically? Like cluttered things in your house, in your purse, your wallet, your car, your office, your computer, your emails. Like what is all cluttered up that you just open it up or you just walk into that room and you just feel like you need to get away? You need to fix those areas of your life that make you feel like you need to get away because we don't want to live our life doing something every day, seeing something every day or being around something every day that makes us feel like we need to escape. That's not healthy. So, um, yeah, you're being called to just ask yourself what those things are. And I feel like a lot of you guys know what they are, but you are turning a blind eye to these things. The next thing we have here is family. Spend some time with your family. Reevaluate your relationships. Reflect on your relationships. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to become very, very close with family members this year. Um, 
And it's gonna be a lot more deeper conversations, deeper meaningful relationships and connections. You, I think you guys are going to be sharing a lot of stories with each other, learning about each other, growing. Um, it's like a deeper connection with family that is coming in to your guys' life. Um, and that is going to allow you to let go of a lot of things, a lot of resentments, a lot of grudges, a lot of past patterns and belief systems that you no longer want to hold on to. It's going to give you a lot of forgiveness and closure. It's like it's going to bring you a lot. This connection with your family is going to bring you a lot. The next card that comes up is Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you. So this family card doesn't just have to do with your like immediate family or your extended family. It has to do with dating like all the way back to your ancestral lineage. So I feel like a lot of things are going to come up where you're going to get to know or research or learn about your ancestors. Um, what like what kind of rituals they did, what they practiced, what they believed in, their lifestyle, what kind of food they cooked, everything. Where you when you put two and two together, you're gonna realize and learn so much. I feel like you're gonna get to know and learn a lot of wisdom of your past and ancestors. Um, like very like that's the journey that you're on is um, connecting to your roots and seeing where your foundation comes from and then evaluating what aligns and doesn't align so i feel like that's actually very very special the next card is surrender stress take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center so something that was stressing you out and plaguing you and just like um causing a lot of worry and anxiety that is going to go away because i feel like you're this wisdom that's coming in this knowledge and this you know, uncovering your ancestors and family line knowledge is going to bring you a lot of clarity that's going to allow you to live your life in a way where you're not as stressed out as you were before. We also have surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So you're going to get to see a lot of truth about your family. You're going to get to see a lot of forgiveness that happened, a lot of stories, a lot. And I feel like if you guys have been dying to like ask your parents a question about your family or about your home, your childhood home, whatever, I feel like those conversations are got, are going to be happening. And another card, the last card that comes up is surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. So I don't believe in prayer. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that prayer to me means manifesting. So when we pray, we don't we don't have that faith that we are going to get what we want. When we manifest, we have to have that faith that we're going to get what we want. So surrender to prayer to me means surrender to manifesting. So when you... The more and more you find out about your family line, the more and more you find out about your family history, you get to tap into this very, very divine energy, which is why I think you guys were so drawn to the angel aura quartz. This is like a crystal of magic. Um, and you were drawn to it because you get to be released, not released, you get to be exposed to the knowledge of your ancestors. And because of that, you get to get so much clarity and clearing and purging, releasing, all that stuff happening. And with that comes this newfound clarity of what it is you want. Not only that, but this clear connection with the divine, clear connection with your higher self and the universe. And from there, you can manifest very quickly and with ease. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and it gave you some clarity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, you can head over to my Etsy shop and I'll leave it linked down below. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys later.